welcome everyone. If you guys are coming in today, um, joining us on the webinar, welcome. I'm getting ready to go live on Facebook if Facebook wants to work. Here we go. If you guys wouldn't mind on, um, on the chat here, if you wouldn't mind just stating what brokerage you're with, what city and state that you're coming to us from, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna see if Facebook wants to work with Zoom today. They just are, there's something. Okay, here we go. Um, and then I will be right back over. I can't talk, type, and think all at the same time. That's too complicated. There we go. Okay, so we got people from San Diego. Yay, San Diego. I was just there. I just got home from San Diego on Sunday. Um, for that, I was there for NAR in Sacramento and Jacksonville, Dallas. Um, Maryland. Wow, we've got everyone from all over the country. Awesome. Good to see everyone this morning. Welcome. And welcome, Spencer. Thanks for being here today. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, Excited. so Spencer Herman, he is the president of the Wave, of Wave Communications. We're excited to have you here with us today. Yeah, and this is going to be awesome. Yes. Um, it is. We're going to be talking about the power of picking up the phone, strategies to, um, you know, to make a successful real estate phone call. I know that can be daunting for a lot of people. You know, we ask these questions beforehand, before the webinar begins. What do people want to um, to learn about the the webinar today? And the number one question was, how do I get over this anxiety of picking up the phone? So I think this is going to resonate with a lot of people. What we're going to be saying today. So Spencer, do you want to just tell us a little bit about um, what you do at uh, Wave and what Wave does? Um, and yeah. Yeah. So my background is product management and um, I came to Wave. We started Wave. Um, it's a spinoff and we started our, this company about three years ago and we're, you know, Wave Communications, a communication platform. Uh, we started out as a, a dialer. Um, so many of you are probably familiar with dialers, but we we build a dialer that integrates and embeds inside of platforms and Wise Agent is just so awesome and the dialer's new and working inside of, of Wise Agent. So yeah. Yeah, I'm be showing off a demo in a little bit. We're excited because that's something where um, you know, your CRM should be the dashboard of your business. So that's where you log in every single day. And um, and then all these other products that you use, we all know that you use other things like Gmail, you're going to be using, um, you know, other products within your, your forms and whatnot. And that's all integrated within your CRM. And one of the things that was, um, you know, but you don't want to really necessarily always want to leave your CRM in your dashboard. And that's a great thing about our integration with Wave is that the dialer is built into Wise Agent. So you never have to leave. You, the whole experience is within Wise Agent. The click of a button, um, and I'm gonna show this in a minute, click of a couple of buttons, you start the phone, phone conversation and you know, document all your notes of the conversation. That's really important is that documentation of the notes um, and, and start the conversation and kind of go from there. So it's a great integration. You guys were great to work with. Yeah, thank you. So fundamentally, we wanted to be different than other dialers. And you just mentioned it. I mean, you know that people were leaving the platform, right? And working and dialing outside of the platform and then having to sync the data back. And we just think that's cumbersome and kind of annoying, to be honest. And so we built our dialer different, right? To just live inside of, of Wise Agent so that you can stay there and do everything you need without having to, to go somewhere else. And then hopefully the data comes back the right way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So before we get into it, before we start um, diving too deep in here, let me just mention a couple of things. So um, this is being recorded. We are live also on Facebook. So if you want to go to our community page, our Wise Agent community page on Facebook, you can go there and watch the replay there, as well as you'll get a copy of the recording in your inbox after this is all said and done. 
Um, we are also, we also have a chat section where you guys were already saying hi to us. Um, hi, hi, Bonnie from, from Bend, Oregon. Um, so if you want to ask any questions in the Q&A section or even in the chat, we have moderator, our fabulous Sarah is moderating um, the discussions there. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them there um, and we'll answer those. Um, Sarah will be answering those and we will also be um, kind of talking about those as well. Um, and then, um, yeah, so if you have any of those questions, so we're gonna, we're gonna just kind of jump right in and start talking about what are some of these conversations that you guys should be having with, um, with your clients and potential clients. So one of the biggest things is how do I, how do I break the ice and, you know, pick up the phone call? One is how do I get the courage to pick up the phone call? I think that's something maybe that Spencer, you can talk about. I know you talk about that probably a lot more than me, but maybe close yeah. as much as I do. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's funny. Um, I have five boys and we talk about fear um, quite a bit and they set these goals, but it's it's kind of scary to try try new things. And especially in real estate, to pick up the phone there, there's this overwhelming feeling of, what if I mess up? Like, what are they gonna say? I don't know what, what I'm gonna do and you know, I think the place to start is first create a plan, right? And and that's where scripts come in is yeah. have a plan, get a script of what you want to say. And those can be different based on who you're calling. And then when you have a script and you, you practice it a few times, you just got to pick up a phone. You're, you're going to make some mistakes, but that's okay, right? The, the way to learn is make those mistakes. And then you're like, okay, I messed up on that one, but I'm going to move on to the next one. A cool feature is we do call recording. And so you can record your calls as you're working and then right inside of Wise Agent, it's attached. And so you can listen to that recording and be like, oh, you know, I messed up here. You can get feedback from someone as they listen to those recordings. And then you just keep practicing. And um, at some point, you know, you're gonna get over that fear and it's just gonna become second nature to you. Yeah, and I think, I mean, the fear thing is a, is a big thing. I was telling, I mean, um, I tell my kids to have three kids and I'm like, listen, no one's going to throw tomatoes at you. Like you're going to make a mistake. Right. It's just embrace it. You have to like, you do have to sometimes fall and, and then figure it out. Uh, I know when I even started this webinar series, it was kind of daunting. Like somebody talking to how many people and you know, and you're on video and you, you don't like how you look, you don't like how you sound, you don't, and it's like, just get over it. You know, I mean, that's the reality. Yeah. This is what you look like. This is what you sound like. And, um, and really it's just about getting over it and saying, you know, this is me and yeah, I'll make a mistake here or there, but as I continue to do it, it will get better. Um, so that's all part of the learning process and, and everything else. So we just, as we make mistakes, we kind of pick ourselves back up and dust ourselves off and just keep going. So I don't, I, and I know it can be hard because you're like, I'm going to be talking to someone. Maybe I haven't talked to them in years. I had a transaction with them, you know, three, five years ago and lost touch. What do I say to them? My opinion is you say exactly that. Like, shoot, I lost touch with you. I don't know how that happened or I'm sorry it happened, but I'm here now. Just wanted to touch base with you and see how things are doing, you know? Yeah. I, I think it's really important to be real and candid, right? I mean, I mean you are real estate agents and there's a reason why you pick this profession um, because you enjoy helping people, you enjoy serving them and people can feel that over the phone, right? You don't have to be face to face. You can you can feel that as you're talking to someone, um, their, their desire to help you, right? And so as an agent, I think be real and you know, some people want that help and if they don't, that's fine, move on. Um, but there are people out looking for the help. They just don't know where to find it. Yeah, absolutely. And so one of the things is like, so we talked a little bit. So you, you talked to someone, maybe you went through a transaction with someone three to five years ago, you lost touch. You just call them and you say, hey, sorry, we lost touch. But how about the person that you just, you know, did a transaction with maybe six months to a year ago? And, you know, you're like, ooh, what do I say now? It's, it's not been that long, but it's been a little bit of time. Yeah, I, I think, you know, 
it's nice because they'll, they'll remember you, right? And so I think that's a, a, a pretty easy conversation as well. Again, being genuine, it's like, hey, you know, I just wanted to check up and see how you're enjoying your home. You know, you've hit the one year mark. That's kind of a big milestone. Um, are you still comfortable? How are things going? Has anything changed in your life? Those changes are kind of nice information, right? Make yeah. notes of those. And, you know, they may have had a, a, a baby. They may have you know, have their parents. High school graduate, trained. you know, yeah. yeah, all sorts of things. And so it's just good time to, to touch base and collect information. And you don't know what has changed. They may be ready to sell their home. The market's changed so much that, like, yeah, I have a lot of equity. My wife and I, we've been talking. Like, you, you just don't know. And yeah. so it's, it's a great time to have a conversation. And I think too, like at the six month or even one year mark after a transaction, I think that's a great way to check in and say like, hey, how's everything going? Maybe the seasons have changed, right? So um, did you, you know, do you need anybody for your heating or air conditioning needs or, you know, like, and then referring them to certain vendors that you work with, you know, because you're there again to help and serve. And when you provide that value, then they're like, they really care about me. Like they really do care about my well-being, And that's a lot of, um, a lot of what that relationship is, is built on is trust. And, um, and so they trust that you'll steer them in the right direction. So, and sometimes they won't even think about that. Oh, I didn't realize I had to get my AC tuned or whatever you do with your AC. Right. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I think it's nice because I mean, it really is value that you're adding to them. Um, I remember when I moved into my first home, I never heard from my agent again. And then the, the next time the agent, he has been so awesome. And I, I feel like he is a, a genuine friend, right? Like he is always trying to help me out. And it's like, when I have questions, I know to reach out to him. And But he's the one who made it become that type of relationship. It wasn't anything I did. The first agent didn't do anything. And now this agent is like, yeah, whenever I have a question, I'm reaching out to him, but it's because he started that relationship with me. Yeah, exactly. Like my, my broker on, on, you know, that we use here, she's, you know, she knows that I, I love to garden and landscape. I'm, I suck at it. And every, I think everybody <laughs> knows that I'm not really good at it. I've neglected my garden for quite some time, but she'll just call me and say like, Hey, send me some pictures of the garden. What are you growing? What, you know, or, um, or she'll just drop by and send me some like seeds for my garden. It's just about having that, that personal touch. Like I remembered, I thought about you, I care about you. And this is what, you know, um, you're on my mind. And so here it is. And it has nothing to do with, you know, being um, flashy or showy or spending too much money. It's really just about the, that thoughtfulness and keeping a lot of that data. I mean, you can't remember that for, right. you know, X number of people, you know, 200 people that you've done business, business with over the last, you know, few years. There's a lot of people to remember um, and a lot of details to remember. And that's when you rely on your CRM to put all those details in there. Um, right. And and I think, you know, I, I expect that, right? Um, I don't expect my agent to know everything about me, mm -hmm. but knowing that the thoughtfulness is there and that, you know, he's paying attention, it's, it's nice. Um, yeah. So yeah, take notes. The CRM, there's power there in, yeah. in recording everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. So one of the things is I want to jump in and, and share my screen and just show off to everybody the integration, because I think this cool. is something I know we're, we're both really proud of this. Our team, um, our teams, um, you know, did a great job of getting the integration done and really embedding it in to make a really great experience for everyone. So I'm going to jump in and share my screen here. And so I'm not going to share this one right now. I'm going to share this instead. So one of the things is like, you know, how do you how do you get this integration set up? And that would be from your integrations drop down, go to settings. And right here, you'll see where it says built in power dialer by wave. And so you could just obviously this demo account already has it set up, but really you just would go in here and um, connect your subscription, get your subscription. Um, and that is a separate cost from the, the CRM portion of it. Um, and what would happen is then once you select what you want, you know, you would, um, there's a couple of different 
options that you would have. So maybe you can explain to us what the preview line dialer is, the power dialer, and then the multi-line dialer is, if you can explain like the differences between those. Yeah. Um, so if you've never used a dialer before, we kind of recommend that you start on a preview line dialer. And the reason for that is the pace at which it's going to go through your list. So let's say you have, I don't know, 15 people um, you're, you want to reach out to today. On the preview line dialer, what's going to happen is it'll load that list um, inside of Wise Agent, and one by one, it's going to start going through. You have your first call, you take notes on it, and when that call's over, um, you'll hit next. It's going to carry you on to the next one. And you're actually pushing buttons though every single time before it's starting and going to the next campaign or, or the next contact that you have. So preview line is is kind of your your starting. Um, oh, we're we're connected through audio. We're calling. Oh, so sorry. You're all right. You gotta love uh, live demos. Yeah. So that that was actually. <laughs> Um, the dialer was picking up our audio and talking to someone on the phone. So okay. Sorry that, about that. that's preview line. Um, yeah. If we want to talk about the next one up is um, a power dial, power dialer single line. And that just gives you a little more, um, more minutes. You're going to be talking to more people because of the power feature in there. And what that means is it can start you talk to your first one, when that ends, it'll automatically bring in the next one and start calling them. So less interaction, meaning you're gonna get through more numbers and calling more people. And then, you know, the, the power dialer multi-line, um, you can be calling up to three people at the same time. So that one's pretty cool, the way that we've built it. Um, we can detect live calls, live answers, and prioritize those. Um, again, this is for agents that are very comfortable with being on the phone. Um, you know, you can kind of work your way up into the, the, the type of dialer that you need. Yeah. And this one, the multi-line one is, it's really cool because you, it will just go through and call, you know, a few people simultaneously. The first one that answers that's like in your ear, right on your phone. The yeah. other two will get that recording that you've, you, that you've pre-recorded. Um, which is nice. And then, you know, and then you just keep going. It's um, someone had, had explained it to me as dialing for dollars. I mean, you're just really like, you're just making those, making those calls because there is some time that goes, you know, between phone calls, you've got to hang up and like, Oh, did I really hang up or did I just press mute or whatever I did? Yeah. You yeah. know, there's time that it takes to, to go through that whole entire process of hanging up and dialing and, you know, you misdialed the number and, hang up and try again or whatever. So this really does take all of that and condenses it down into a really short amount of time to um, to really eliminate, you know, probably, you know, minutes that would add up, especially if you have a big team that's doing this, um, to really just get the, the most time into your phone calls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's great. And so one of the things, so once you set this part up, then basically um, the dialer works, it works really well in our call list. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with our call list, it's just from our home drop down into the call list. And what I love about this feature is this is really, I mean, this is kind of like, this is where you're following up with everyone. And one of the things is, you know, outside of, I'll, I'll even do it like outside of the dialer first, just to um, to give you an understanding of what happens here is this is where you kind of set your reminders and set yourself up for the next phone call with them because you really should be building these relationships and you know some of them um, it depends on how you um, how you categorize or group or rank your your people where you you'll you know be spending time with them on the phone call right on a phone call so you can come in here and look and see these are my he's an a ranking so i'm gonna you know make the phone call and i'm gonna put my my follow-up in here so i'm gonna call him because he's an a ranking i know that i need to reach out to him again in a month so i'll come in here and set my time if i want it to go on my calendar so i don't ever miss this appointment probably not 2 a.m you know mm -hmm. elon would probably be up at that time and then i could say like why am i calling him give it a type like i'm just going to be following up 
Um, I could attach an alert. So then it sends me a reminder to my phone um, in a text saying like, hey, you got to call, it's time to call Elon Musk. And then I can put in the reason for a contact, you know, so I know, oh, well, maybe, you know, we're working on things and, um, you know, we're already going through a transaction, you know, just following up after, um, after the closing, or um, maybe we're not going through a transaction at all. And it's just building that relationship, checking in. So I can put that in here, put my notes from the conversation that I had with him today, and then um, and then go on um, and then mark this as completed. Um, so then it just will go on to the next person. And that's just really powerful right there in and of itself, where um, outside of using a dialer, but then add the power of the dialer. And that becomes kind of that goes to the next level, right? Right. Yeah. And that that's what I really love about this um, is get comfortable doing what you're doing. But in order to progress your business, you got to get uncomfortable. Right. And so taking that next step, it's great. You have this call list. Well, we want to make it the next level. Well, get a preview line dialer and you can walk through that a little a little more efficient. You're right. And then you get comfortable there. You got to take the next step. Let's let's get the single line dialer. And now you can be really moving through these. And one other thing, you, you added that contact time accidentally, 2 a.m., right? What's yeah. cool about the dialer is it has time zone protection um, and you can set the time. So you don't want to be calling someone, you know, maybe before 9 a.m. or after 7 p.m., whatever you, you want to do. You can set that time zone protection and it will recognize who you're calling, their area code, where they're at and then help you avoid that. It, it won't allow you to call outside of that time zone. Um, so kind of a nice little feature there. Yeah. And so one of the things too, is if you are familiar with YZ Gen, familiar with our drip campaigns and, um, you know, you could even have, cause I, I always feel like when you're writing a drip campaign, you should have, um, different types of touches in there. So, and a touch would be, you know, an email or text message, a phone call, they should all be incorporated in there. And one of the things that we've done in our drip campaigns is that you could have the drip campaign have a script in it. So when you're ready to make that call, then the script is already in the call list for you. And that's what this button is, right? So then you could have your, your script already written out for you. So no matter if I'm making this phone call because I'm calling so many people a day and a month, I can't remember exactly like, who they are. So maybe I want to look back at my notes, um, you know, before I call them definitely. So I can kind of refresh right. myself on like, what, what was the last thing that I, that I, I talked to them about. And then, so the call script will kind of give me that, like, this is what I have to be saying. This is kind of my goal of the conversation is to get to this, you know, these topics here. Um, and so that's, that's how that works. And then it works even within the dialer. So, um, and I, I'll just press dial here. And what it does is, so on this demo, I'm just gonna do it through the computer, um, you know. Um, computer audio. Audio and everything, but you can have it set to go to your phone, your desk phone, your cell phone, um, your home phone, if you still have one. Um, that That's how that would work. That's how that would work. Get a little bit of feedback here and then. Get a little bit of feedback here and then. So what I would do is so follow my script. What I would do is follow my script. I'm gonna hang up because that's getting annoying. I'm gonna hang up because that's getting annoying. Well, I just want to mention. So what's cool about it is you can connect with, like you mentioned, your cell phone, or you can use computer audio. Obviously, for this demo, we're on Zoom, we're, so we're we're using computer audio in both places. But sometimes. Um, you want to be using your cell phone, right? You, you want to connect and use that as your caller ID. That's another nice feature is you can verify different phone numbers. If you have an office line and you want to call out from there, you verify that, you can call from there. If you want to use your cell phone, if you have other numbers that you're using, you can have any of those be listed as your caller ID as long as you verify those. Yeah, and that's um, that's a great point is that your, your caller ID and then also one other thing too that we want to make mention is if you are in a state where, you know, if, if you're using this for, um, for cold calling, 
um, that you want to make sure that you're following, you know, your state laws and your local laws and everything. Right now, the, the things, the topics that we've been talking about are people that you already know and, the, and you're building, you're just building on top of the conversations that you've had. So if it is somebody that you don't know, you do want to make sure that you're following all the laws that are needed. And I know, Spencer, you have some information on that that can be yeah, so um, TCPA is kind of the regulating body around um, telephone calls and how those operate. Um, a, a few things to be aware of is obviously, yeah, cold calling, there, there's regulation there. I mean, we all are annoyed by getting these spam calls and we, we don't enjoy that, right? And so make sure you, you understand what that means. Um, my The best resource, um, we, we can share some links out, but um, I think Sarah's going to be sending those out. I think for operating your business, you want to understand the risk of, of cold calling. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm not a legal advisor, right? I can't give you legal advice. And so find, you can search for TCPA attorneys. Um, it's a very specific type of attorney. Um, they have them in your areas. Everyone, wherever you are, I promise you there is a TCPA attorney for you to speak with and explain your business model, what you're trying to do, and they'll help you. They'll help you understand the risk of, of cold calling and, and why you should or shouldn't be doing that, especially in your area. It's, it's hard for us to make these broad statements because every area is very different. And so you just wanna make sure you understand the compliance um, in your area. Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, you know, making sure that you're, you're aware of that, but you're also, you, but you can totally use this for people that you already know. I mean, that is sure. something, um, and using the dialer isn't going to, you know, cause any kind of conflict um, if you are using, you know, if you're not supposed to be cold calling. It's, it's not about what method you're calling them with, right? Yeah, yeah, great question and, and really good point of, um, you know, some people are conf confused about when they hear, oh, it's a dialer, therefore it's illegal. That's not true. There, there are illegal dialers. Um, auto dialers is specifically what they are. They're called a ATDS, Automatic Telephone Dialing System. And what makes that illegal is they can auto-generate numbers. So it's not that you found someone's number and are calling them. They create the number through a random sequence of events and then they call it. And that, that is illegal, um, plain and simple. Don't, don't use one of those, you should never use that. Uh, at WAVE, we've gone through thorough, thorough reviews from several attorneys, making sure we're very compliant, that you don't take on any additional risk. It's the same as you using your cell phone and calling someone, that's the exact same risk, right, as using WAVE um, as a dialer. And the nice thing is, is that you can use um, you can update the caller ID to fit whatever it is. So if you want to be calling from your mobile device, you want them to see that on your caller ID because that's the number they know, um, then that's what, you know, they'll be, um, then you can do that. You can display whatever caller yep. ID they want. Which is yes, nice. yes, exactly. And, and it's also nice because if, if they miss your call and they want to call you back, right, it's going to go to that, that number that was showed on the caller ID. So yeah, really helpful. Awesome. So let me go back to the demo here. And so now I'll select, you know, three calls to make. And so um, I think, is this the one that we just called? Spencer, is this? I think it was. Okay, yeah. So you don't want to call, yeah. call her because she, um, she just echoes back at us. So we don't want that. So I'm just going to select these three people. And you can see, so I can select to dial in with the phone or use my computer, microphone, and speaker. So I'm going to use that one and then really just start the session. And as soon as um, Richard <laughs> answers or doesn't answer in this case, because I know he's just gonna keep ringing and ringing, then I can just have it go on to, um, go on to the next person. And then that will, um, that will really help with, you know, taking, taking out some of these, um, some of the time that you have in making those phone calls and everything else. So it really does go from the next call to the next call. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, so on Richard, it's going to keep ringing. And so on him, we'll probably want to hang up. And then we can hit resume. And now it'll go to our, our next one. So okay. here we get it. Yeah. So then here, and now I can just put in here, you know, left voicemail. 
and I can follow up. I can even follow up with the same date and just say, you know what, let me just call back, you know, at a later time. Maybe I'll try in the afternoon um, and then do all this other stuff. Mark it as complete and then it'll go to the next person. And then that follow up, Hello. what it does, <laughs> um, what, the, what the follow up does Hello. is it really, I'm going to hang. Hello. Okay. Uh, our, our dev team had some fun creating these. Yes, <laughs> they certainly did. <laughs> and so what that does is really once you click on complete, because that's the one thing I know when we were even in development on this, it was like, am I going to have enough time to put all my notes in? So really you can have the, take that opportunity to put all your notes in. And then once you hit complete, then it will go on to that next call. So you're not feeling like, oh gosh, they answered on the first ring and I haven't even finished my my notes from the last conversation, that can be kind of daunting experience where if you're like, I need to put everything down because you should um, you should be taking notes on the conversation and what's being said. Yeah, I, I think what we've really tried to do is, is make it easy for you not to think about what's going on, right? We're putting the people in front of you with all the appropriate information so that you can just have the conversation. You don't have to worry about how is it getting there, what's going on, like don't even worry about it. You click a button and you're getting connected and this is who you're talking to, right? And then you click again and we're on to the next person and you're ready. Um, again, multi-lines is oh. that ramped up, right? And so oh. um, th there's just more going on there. Yeah. Yeah, and the, and there is a, lot, a little bit more going on there at the same time. But what's um, what's really nice is that it will it really does help. It can have and with a demo, you know, you're not really you're dealing with a lot of different um, types of people there, and so it's kind of just um, so when it's in real life, it does make it a little bit easier because you're sending those recordings off while you're you're still talking to somebody else. I mean, they might be calling you right back because they've heard your recording and like, yeah, I really do need to speak to this person. You know, I really do need to speak to you. Um, so then that's something that you can accommodate too, which is really Yeah, important. and one other thing is the, the voicemails, right? So you can have, you can save different types of voicemails. So if you are calling um, your sphere, right? It's, it's people that you know and you're working with and you have maybe just listed a new home and you want to let them know. Well, you can record a voicemail that says, hey, and you explain the home. I just listed this new home. Here's the details on it. Would love to give you some more information. And so now as you're calling through that list, if, if you get their voicemail, if it goes to um, your contact's voicemail, you can easily drop that, that recorded voicemail and you don't have to repeat it over and over and over again. So again, another way of saving time helps you categorize um, what you're doing and prioritize that. Yeah. Absolutely. And so one of the questions that we're getting in is, do we need any special equipment for our computer in order to have the dialer work? No. Um, well, I say no. Um, <laughs> as long as your computer has a microphone and has speakers, right, um, then then you're that's all you need. And a, a browser, right? If you can right. be on wise agent. <laughs> Internet <right>? access. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, some people don't have um, speakers or microphones on their computer. Um, and it, as long as they have Bluetooth and they can connect to headphones, then you're good there too. Yeah, yeah, or even the, the wired, um, yeah. So that's um, that's definitely something. Um, so really it's just, I mean, uh, if you have a modern day computer, you can use this. You don't need to buy anything special, fancy um, to get this going. Really right, you don't have to have a soft phone. There's no additional equipment needed. I mean, it, it works. Yeah. Um, another question is what when do I when do I make these phone calls? What's the best time to be calling people? I think earlier great, you mentioned great question. Yeah, I, I think it depends on the type of person you're calling. Um, and so, you know, we'll see data wise for some reason Tuesday mornings we we see from our side a lot of agents are making calls on on Tuesday mornings. Um, and and the, the, I don't know if that's just because of the, you know, they're coming off of a Monday, Tuesday, like they're expecting more contacts, better connection. Better that's what we can see from the data. But that's again, you know, at a, a, 
a higher level, I think it depends on who you're calling. Um, you know, if, if you're calling through a neighborhood, maybe you know, hey, they work till five and they're busy in the mornings, I'm gonna give them a little bit of time. 6.30 or seven might be the best time to connect with them. So you, you just have to know who you, you know, who you're who calling, you, who you're targeting, who your audience yeah. is. Yeah, we say that a lot here. One of the things too that I think that you can totally do, and I can share my screen again, is you can actually put, let me go to our um, handy dandy Michael Phelps here. You can use our custom fields to, or even um, your categories to, you know, so if you've talked to somebody and you're like, every time I call them at like 9 a.m. or between nine and, and noon, they always answer. But if I call them afternoon, like they never answer. You can put them in a category like morning, early morning calls or, you know, use a, a custom um, a custom date or, or a custom field to say like they are, you know, they're a morning person. So call them first thing in the morning or they're more of an evening person. So you can use this so then you can find the people um, that you need to be calling at this that appropriate time, you know, so you can filter through things and you can really make that, you know, help help you to your advantage on when to call people because um, everyone will be different. Yeah, and I love that. Like let the, the tool help you, right? Don't try and keep all of that in your head. Again, take the notes um, and, and then use it to power your business. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, I think that's that's one thing that, um, you can be doing is is really just because if you're once you're taking taking on these calls right making these calls and taking your notes and then reviewing your notes before you get on the next call for them well obviously setting up the follow-up is really important as well so then you know like okay I'm gonna because we're not like Spencer's not ready to buy another house but he you know told me that um, one of his kids is starting basketball this season or whatever so now I can put in there like check in and see how, you know, his son is doing with basketball season. And so it's really not about always the sell. It is just about building that relationship. Like, oh, so how'd your son do on basketball, you know, or whatever it was. And you can have that conversation, just that human conversation, that human connection that people are just really wanting and they desire that. They, that's the experience they want. Yeah. And I think it's to that point, you know, not everyone's ready to sell immediately when you talk to them. Majority aren't, right? It takes work and, and that's what makes a good agent though, right? Is that work. And and so taking the notes, but the consistent follow-up, the consistent outreach is really powerful. Those who do it see results. At the end of the day, it, it takes work. But if you do the work, you will see the results. And we just want to help you amplify those results. We want to help you be able to work much more efficient. So, yeah. So one of um, one of our questions is, um, how do you handle objections um, from from people that you're calling? Like if they say, "I'm already working with another agent." I mean, great. Yeah, great question. So it'll depend. Like if if they're looking to buy a home or are they looking to sell? If they're looking to sell, they already have an an agent. Well then great, they have an agent, right? Like move Hang on. The phone. Yeah, move on. If, if it's an expired, right? They were working with an agent and the agent didn't sell their home. Well, that, that's a different conversation, right? I think then you can go into question mode and they're like, oh, I'm already working with an agent. Oh, great. Um, you know, tell me more. What happened? How come the home wasn't able to sell? And then you go into question mode. You want to discover and ask them what's going on. And that's where scripts come into play. So depending on the type of contact. So if it's an expired, we have scripts for that that, that we can share, right? Yeah. Um, if it's a, a just listed, if it's a, a neighborhood, um, those are different types of object, objections. Um, just look and ask questions. Questions are really the golden ticket, right? Exactly. Just ask questions to learn more about the situation. And then after, as you're asking questions, getting to know them, what, what is the whole point of the call? It's to get a meeting, get an appointment or give them, provide some information so that you can continue to have conversations. Yeah. And I think too is um, just if you, if you expect that there, I mean, and you will get some objections from people. And so if you have that already as something that may come up, be prepared for that. So have, 
have an answer prepared. I mean, it doesn't have to be like, it doesn't, it shouldn't ever sound, we talked a little bit about scripts. It shouldn't ever sound scripted. Like you're like, and then the, you know, like you're, you're reading something because then that's going to come across as like a, a script that you're reading and not genuine, but um, be prepared and be knowledgeable in it. So if they're saying to you, you know, well, are you familiar with this area? Um, and you're not, I, I mean, be prepared. How would you answer that? You know, you can always overcome a negative with a positive, like, oh, well, I've, you know, I'm not all that familiar with that area, but I'm familiar with, you know, how to do this and how I'm an expert negotiator, you know, I'm an expert, you know, talk about yeah. then the positives about yourself. Yeah, I, actually, I'm not an expert in that area. This is the area I'm more familiar with. Are you interested in moving to that area? And they say, yeah. Oh, great. Well, I would love to learn more about that area. I am you know, I love researching this. That's that's what I do 24 seven. And so if you'd like me to research that more for you, I can give you some comps in that area. I can find some homes, right? Allow them to see that you want to work for them. You want to help them. And um, objections are, are great. It's If you're not getting objections, they're really not interested, right? Plain and simple, they're not interested. Like you will get objections. And so practicing and practicing those scripts, you'll learn how to resolve them. But you're gonna get similar objections. And so that's why the script's helpful. Help, yeah, yeah, most definitely. And I think even um, when you're calling people that you, um, maybe that you sold to a, a while back, um, especially, you know, right now in, in the market where, you know, we're still kind of, it's still kind of hot, you know, where you can say like, hey, would you like for me to send you um, a market analysis of what the pricing is of your home, like what, you know, this is what you bought it at, this is what, you know, what it could potentially um, make right, what it could sell for right now, and we can have a discussion, you know, if, you know, if you want me to come over for a cup of coffee and we can discuss it in person, and really you can put that out there um, and have those conversations when it starts getting to that, because that's what a lot of people are wondering right now, like, I wonder what my house is worth. Don't, you know, and when they start thinking that way, they should be also thinking the next thought should be you, right? And yes, so, exactly. yeah, what are my houses worth? Well, let me call Spencer and see what he thinks, right? And so that's really what it should be, um, that that progression should be. And it's when you build those relationships is when that happens. Yeah, everyone wants to hear that their house is worth more money, right? <laughs> but it's like, yes, please tell me more. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and then when you go in with the knowledge and say like, I looked it up and this is what you paid for it. This is what you can get right now. And this is, you know, and this is the, you know, and this is what it looks like the market is trending in this way. I mean, that really, it, it goes to your level ex of expertise and your knowledge. And so then they start, you know, trusting in you and they, they have faith in you and believe in you and they like you. That's when they're going to start doing business with you. So, um, so all of those things are things that you can be talking about and just, um, and, and just building on and building on. One of the things that I wanted to show, cause I did mention drip campaigns and, um, and how that you could have all these different, you know, you can have these different types of touches. So I wanted to show that off a little bit here. Um, so I have a drip campaign here in the call script. So we're going to talk about call scripts because I know that was another hot topic that people were like, Are you guys going to provide us with a call script. And so Spencer and I talked yesterday. And um, so we're going to be providing some call scripts for you guys just um, within Wise Agent. Just give us Give us a couple of days to get that all in there. By next week, Friday, um, they should all be in your Wise Agent account um, automatically. So, what you can do is when you create a drip campaign, you have all these different actions. So, you can send an email, um, you could, you know, make a call on the phone, and that's what this option is. And this this checkbox right here is add call um, add to call list, where it'll add this script to the call list. So. Um, this is a really great thing because now you can have, I know what I'm going to be talking about. So I know these are the type of questions that I'm going to be asking. And so when I'm like, there's a lull in the conversation, I don't know what else to say next. These will kind of prompt me with some of the questions. Of course, you want to ask like how their family is doing, how they are doing, be human about it. But then these will be some of the prompts that you'll have, um, to really kind of keep the conversation going and moving along. 
right? And then um, once you go to the, your next event, then again, you can make, um, you know, you can send out an, an email, right? And so you could add a YouTube video, you could add images, you could add all sorts of things in here, um, or you could even make it um, a text message and add a video or an image and, you know, obviously use placeholders as often as possible and make it personalized because that's what really, um, really gets people to be like, oh, they really are thinking of, of me. So you want to make sure that you're personalizing things. So to come in here and just say, you know, hi, and then hi, Spencer, you know, it was great chatting with you. You know, if the last touch was a phone call, it was great chatting with you the other day. Um, just wanted to see how things are going with you. And then you can leave it at that and see if you'll get a response. And then you can have that conversation um, outside of the drip campaign, right? You can just continue to have that conversation from um, still from your, your wise, um, wise number, your wise texting number, but it'll be outside of that drip campaign, which they'll still get, you know, then the subsequent emails and everything else, um, which is a really nice way of getting, you know, to continue to talk to them and con continue the conversation. Yeah, I think it's important to remember a phone call is not always the right answer, right? There are seven levels of communication and at some point a, a text is better, or an email is better, or more appropriate, right? Um, a phone call is very personal and so use that to your advantage. Don't, don't al allow it to be a hindrance, right? And so you don't want to call every single time. That gets annoying. <laughs> I do not want my agent calling me every single day to tell me every single thing, right? That, that's not going to work. And so use the system the right way and, and texts are great. Emails are great. Um, you know, I, I'm a flyer in the mail. Like there's a reason why we have different means and modes of communication. A phone call is very powerful though. And so make sure you're using that appropriately. Yeah. And I think even like dropping by, I know a lot of people do those pop bys and stop by with, and this is a perfect, you know, next week we're going into Thanksgiving. You know, I know a lot of agents doing this. They, they stop by with the apple pie or the, the pumpkin pie and they drop it off for the, for the family dinner. I think that's, you know, that's something that is really great. I mean, you want to be doing that because you want to be seen. You want to have that conversation for people to really remember you. And so when they're sitting there on Thanksgiving day and they're eating a slice of the pumpkin pie that you brought, it's like, oh, this is a great pie. Where'd you get it from? You know, it's like, oh, my realtor dropped it out. Oh, who's your realtor? I don't know. I didn't get that for mine, you know? So that's a great way of doing things. I know a lot of people that do that. Yeah, my agent, it's funny, just last week texted me um, a little invite that they're doing pies and pictures. And so he's like, bring your family. We can have a nice picture and take a pie um, that you can use for later. So, yeah, that's super cute. Super cute. I know, um, you know, here in, in Fountain Hills, where I, where I live, they do a Thanksgiving Day parade in our little town. And um, they always do mimosas. Our, my, my broker does mimosas on, on Thanksgiving morning. Who doesn't love mimosa on Thanksgiving morning? or any morning that is. Um, and so, um, so it's really great where you just get that invite and you, you know, you get to meet people and, and talk and have conversations. And you, you know, even as just the, from the consumer point of view, right? You're meeting other people that are in your neighborhood, that are in, living in your community. And your agent is the one that brought you together. I mean, that's a really powerful thing to do. So right. I think that's, a lot of people appreciate that, so. Um, and I know, um, so we mentioned that we are going to be offering scripts through Wise Agent for everyone um, in your Wise Agent account. So those are going to be put into the system in about a week. Um, give us some time to get that put all together for you. So then you can be leveraging that with your um, power dialer and, and even outside of the dialer. Those will be scripts that you could use um, even outside of the dialer. Those will be available. Uh, but then also, I know, Spencer, you had something um, special that you wanted to offer for thanksgiving and um for yeah supplies. we're gonna we're gonna do a special discount for everyone on the webinar today um so we're doing 15 dollars off for the the preview line and the the single line power dialer so 15 dollars off for your first month that's going to run from now through um cyber monday and then if you want the the multi-line power dialer we're actually doing 20 dollars off so yeah uh awesome discount and um, you know, really excited. I hope you guys learned a lot on this call. Yeah. 
Thank you for that. I know that was, um, we didn't have to twist your arm too much for that, but we, I know we have, I'll appreciate that because it's something to be able to test it out and see how it will really work for you, especially with the holiday season. This is a great opportunity to feed for you to be reaching out to your past clients um, or potential new clients and saying, hey, it's the holiday season. Is there something I can help you with? You know, people are still moving around the country um, and migrating. And so definitely this is a good time to be reaching out and sometimes just even offering your well wishes for the holidays. So using a, a dialer in that is um, is a great way of doing that. So thank you for, for that yeah. offer to everyone. Hey, I'm excited. As people try it, they'll, they'll see the the value and the power. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, well, I, I just want to say thank you, Spencer, for, for um, adding that value, the scripts, the discount, and being on this webinar today and sharing your knowledge with us all. We really appreciate it. And I hope you guys all took something away from, from this conversation today. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me and um, looking forward to working with you. Yeah. Us, us too. And so tomorrow I've got a bonus webinar since next week is Thanksgiving and it's a shorter week for me. I'm doing a bonus webinar tomorrow with my, my good friend, um, Jeremiah's Jamie Ann Monero out of Rochester, New York. Um, he and I were at NAR together um, and we did um, Instagram reels um, at our booth at NAR. And so he saw me dancing. I had like a, it wasn't broken, but a, I think it twisted my ankle. And so um, you saw me dancing even with a twisted ankle. And so we're going to be talking about Instagram reels and how that could increase your social media reach and your social selling. And so we're going to talk a little bit about what we were doing at NAR and what we're going to continue to do at Triple Play in Atlantic City next month. So I'm excited for that one as well. We have all these great, I have all these great industry friends. I really appreciate all of them when I tap them on the shoulder and say, hey, will you come on and share your, your knowledge with, um, with, or with our audience? So um, Spencer, you've been fantastic. Thank you for today. Yeah, thanks for having me. And uh, Wise Agent has been so great to work with. So Lenny, thanks so much. Oh, thank you. Um, you guys have been terrific to, to work with as well. And um, if you guys want to um, join tomorrow, it's at 10 a.m. We're going to be um, getting real about reels. So um, join that webinar as well. We'll be on, live on Facebook as well. And, um, and I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye.